As Michael gears towards Florida, we are seeing the intensification of this storm. And as it makes landfall, the effects uh, that we're most concerned about will be the wind and storm surge. This storm has incredible damaging winds, and the strongest winds will likely be just east of landfall, right around the Big Bend region of Florida. Now, as those winds increase, we could see sustained wind speeds around 150 kilometers an hour with elevated gusts from there. Storm surge is also a, a huge concern. This is the amount that the ocean rises as the hurricane pushes its way on shore. We could see ocean heights rise four meters, over four meters, with elevated waves on top of that. So flooding, uh, a big concern with this storm as well. Now, once it makes landfall, once it moves its way on shore, we will see rain elevated through Alabama, Georgia, and then pushing through portions of the Carolinas. And you remember just a few weeks ago, we were talking about the impacts of Florence through both South and North Carolina. This takes us through Thursday afternoon. The storm will rain heaviest through North Carolina and then move rather quickly out into Atlantic Canada. From here, we begin to turn our eyes towards the Atlantic provinces. Will there be an impact for Nova Scotia? Well, right now it looks like the majority of the computer models are keeping the storm well south of Nova Scotia itself into the Atlantic. But right now there is a special weather statement from Environment Canada for the entirety of the province. Heading into Friday night and Saturday, we will watch the track of the storm and see if there will be any impact in terms of enhanced rainfall through the region. That remains to be seen. It's still pretty far out, but the consensus does seem to keep the remnants of Michael wealth south of the province.